Hello friends, today I'm going to talk about how to do backup and restore in DB2. This tutorial is aimed towards the beginners who are just starting with the DB2 and need to understand what are the different options present in DB2 to allow us to do the backup and restore. Uh, and few of the types that I will cover in this particular tutorial is how to take a full backup and how to do the restore how to take a full backup and restore that particular backup into another database, then how to take an incremental backup and how do we restore that and how do we restore point in time backup or sorry, how do we restore point in time? So if database is corrupted and somebody deleted a record and we want to go back in time, how do we do that? And also if let's say we have multiple table spaces and we have a requirement only to restore one table space, not the entire table spaces. So how do we do that? So these are the things that I will cover today. Uh, and there are other types of backups like these are not the limited types, but not limited to as I mentioned, there are other which I will not cover. Uh, this, these are the only few types of the backup and restores that I will cover. So to take the full backup, we will use the command backup db sample to will pass the location and this is the optional. If we actually the command this up to this command, this will, will work. We don't have to specify this. What will happen if we don't specify this is the backup will be returned to the directory where we are in. And if we specify the compress, the backup will be compressed. But again, up to this, the command will work. And then before restoring, we'll just drop it. We don't have to drop it. We can directly try to do the restore. The restore is going to drop the database, but yeah, we do, we can drop the database and then using this particular backup that we took, we will restore. So restore DB sample from where we took the backup, taken a timestamp. So why, when the backup is taken, it will generate a one timestamp. And then we say without rolling forward and without prompting. So if we don't give the without rolling forward, we'll have to roll forward if it is the online uh, archival log database. And without prompting means we don't, if the backup is, uh, the database is already there, it will ask us to overwrite the existing. So we don't, we don't want any prompt. So we can use this. Uh, again, I'm telling you, if we are into the same directory as where the backup is, we can only mention up to this provided there is only one backup image. If there is multiple backup image, it will fail. But if there is only one backup image, then we can just say restore db sample and this command will work and we don't have to provide any of these options. Provided in the backup directory, there is only one backup image. Now, and you are into the same directory as the backup image. So this is how we do the full backup and restore. The second option is where we want to do the restore into another database. The backup is pretty simple. I, I don't I don't know why I mentioned db, drop db sample, but let's say we want to restore this particular backup into another database called new db. Then how do we do that? And here the command is exactly same what we have here, except now I have this particular clause or keyword into new db. So we, I'm specifying the, the database where I want to restore in using the into keyword. So once I do, do that, whatever is the backup image of sample from this particular backup, it will be restored into this database. So this is the second option. The third one is the backup and restore, incremental backup and restore. In this case, I need to have my database in track mode. Again, it should be in archival mode and my track mode should be on. So to using this particular parameter uh, command will be updating the track mode to make it as then we'll take a full backup. The track mode will not change unless or until we don't take a full backup. So remember that we have to take the full backup. And then once we take the full backup, okay, the thing is, I said that wrong, the track mode will get effective immediately after this particular command. But what will happen is like we won't be able to take the online incremental backup provided we don't take the full backup. So we have to take the full backup after, after changing this, we have to take the full backup. If we directly try to take an incremental backup, it will fail saying that we don't have the full backup. So we need to make sure that after changing this parameter, we take a full backup and then we are allowed to take the incremental backup. So this is what, so exactly same, the backup, the, if you see the, there is no difference in between the, the command for 
normal backup and incremental backup except that there is a small keyword called incremental then uh, when we restore this particular backup when we if we have to ever restore this we have to remember that we start from the incremental backup the last incremental backup then we restore the full backup so we restore the incremental backup then we restore the full backup then again we restore the incremental backup and then finally we do the roll forward so remember this that we have to start from the last incremental backup then we have to go to full then apply all the incrementals and then finally the roll forward now point in time restore pretty simple the restore command remains the same so we take the full backup and we restore this the database and then while rolling forward we specify the two timestamp which means the timestamp is where at what time we want to take the database to and we will specify that two timestamp and the database will go back to stage where it was at this particular timestamp provided our roll forward gets successful the table space level restore is we can use the table space level backup or we can use the full backup so what we are doing here is like we are saying i want to restore only this table space so instead of restoring the entire database we are restoring a particular table space and and here i am using the keyword called online which means that here also i am using the keyword called online so what it means is like the database is active i can restore the table space i don't have to so let's say you have multiple table spaces and multiple tables in different different table spaces so applications are using some of the tables from some table spaces you don't have to get if you want to restore a particular table space you don't have to bring down the entire database you can restore only that particular table space so i hope you got the commands because what we are going to do is in the tutorial it will be very complicated so let's let me explain the full backup and restore the backup db sample this command will work but if you want to optionally specify at what location and again this is compressed backup optional and restore db sample will also work only this particular command will work but if if you are if the backup is somewhere else we can use the from clause and if there are multiple backups and you want to tell db2 which backup you want to restore then you will say taken at then to restore into another database you will say into new db same command but accept into new db to do the incremental backup you will set this parameter track mode on and then when you are taking the backup you will say incremental keyword you will use this incremental keyword and when you restore you start with the last incremental backup and then full and then all the incremental finally roll forward to do the point in time you only use the keyword to timestamp so you will roll forward to timestamp and when you do the table space level restore you can do it online and you can only restore a particular table space so these are some so let's go to the tutorial and we have one database here okay so i have one database here called sample i have already configured this database into archive log so i can show you that yeah so this particular database is already in the archive log it's it's which means i can take the offline back online backup and this particular database is track mode no which means i can't take the incremental backup so it is in archival logging but not incremental backup so online backups are possible the incremental backups are not possible now let's start with our exercise and to do that we will first what we'll do is we'll take a backup we'll take our first backup so okay so what i'm doing here is i am i'm taking the offline backup so to do that i am deactivating my database taking the offline backup and then whatever is the timestamp i'm taking the timestamp using i'm using awk utility i'm generating taking the timestamp and then that timestamp i'm using in the taken at command so if you see the command here taken at i need to specify the timestamp so what i'm doing is like i'm pulling the timestamp i'm pulling the timestamp from this but literally this is not required so what i'll do is i will just deactivate the database and take the backup 
okay and as i mentioned i don't have to specify this and i don't have to specify this so i can just fire this command and my backup will work so i don't know what should i do but let me show you i'm here okay i don't have any backup i'll not specify the directory and i'll just say compress what am i doing is the backup will be generated in the in this same directory and it will be a compressed backup so i did not i omitted this so i used this particular parameter but i omitted and if you see my backup is successful and in the current directory i have the backup image i did not specify where the backup should go so wherever you are in whatever directory you are automatically the backup will be return to that particular directory provided the instance owner has the permission to write or create file in that particular directory so i i did not specify so this as i said it will work and now what i'll do is i'll just drop this database and if i show you do i have any database i don't have right and i'll use this particular command and again as i said i don't need to specify any of this i can just say restore db sample and it will work and seems like it is restoring so let's wait for the restore command to complete so that's yeah so that's done and now if i do db to list db directory i have got my database sample and if i try to activate this particular database it okay connection to cannot be made because of roll forward right i know roll forward i did not right okay that's done and now if i try to do activate that activate worked so i should have i i forgot that the backup the the image of the backup the sorry the backup image is of the database which is in archival logging which means you while restoring you can say without rolling forward if it is a offline backup you can't specify it for the online backup so if it is a offline backup you can specify without rolling forward or if you don't specify this then you have to do the roll forward afterwards so that's what i've done and activate the database is activated so this is was a short tutorial on how to do the sorry short uh, example on how to restore the full backup now we will try to restore okay i'll not try to take another backup so now if i show you db2 list db directory so i have got this sample and i have got this one backup so what i'll do is like i'll restore this particular backup image into another database so let me db2 restore db sample into new db without rolling so now i am saying i don't want to roll forward i just want to do everything in one command so let's see so what happened now is now it's not rest restoring this particular database but instead it is restoring this particular backup image into another database called new db and now if, if here i had only one database and now if i run this command you can see that i have got another database called new db so this particular database was the restored copy of this particular backup image and now if i try to activate this particular database it will work and activate got successful because i in the previous case i had to roll forward but yeah here but in this case i did not have to because when i did the restore i specified the without rolling forward so this was another example in this case what we did is we restored the sample database into another database and we used the keyword called without rolling forward so this was the second example now let's go to the third example where we are trying to take the incremental backup and i'll what i'll do is i'll try to take an incremental backup first yeah this is the command to take the incremental backup so let's see what happens the database has not been configured to allow the incremental backup operation so now 
and the reason is we have not set the track mode so let's do that so and i can prove you that the track mode is not on okay So track mode is no and that is the reason and we got the reason code one. So now what I'll do is like I will update the track mode and we need to deactivate and activate. So let's do that. Okay and we'll see. So we'll do all together. deactivate activate and track mode is yes so now since we have track mode as can we take the incremental backup looks like we should be able to so now what we'll do is like we will use the same command which we tried to take the incremental backup so we'll take this particular command and we'll see and now is previously we got the reason code one now we got the reason code two so what has happened is like Although the track mode is on, we still cannot take the incremental backup and that is because we have not taken the full backup after the incremental backup and that is preventing us. So let me deactivate the database again and then try to take the, okay, I'll just update this parameter once again, it's not going to harm. So, so I'll just try to take the incremental backup and sorry, the full backup once i take the full backup then i will be able to take the incremental backup now what i what in this part what i'll do is like we need to restore this incremental backup okay so what i'll do is like i will first i will take the full backup and when the full backup is there then i'll show you what is the salary sum of entire salary for all the staff and then I will divide the salary of every person by half. So I'm multiplying the salary into 0.5. I'm updating the entire table and multiplying the salary by half. So now if I do the sum, I will see the half the salary. Now this particular information that, that I have done the half of the salary, that is not there in the full backup. That is there in the incremental backup. Then what we'll do is like, we will drop the database and we will restore the incremental backup then full backup and again incremental backup should will we have the full salary or will we have the half salary which was which information was present in the incremental backup and we should see the updated data we should not we should not see the entire salary because we have taken the incremental backup and we used that backup to restore the database so uh, let me show you okay let me take up to here let me take the full backup and then yeah okay okay let me clear the screen let me do cd and i'm track mode is on and the database deactivated i'm trying to take the backup now and the backup has been taken okay i still got the same message right so you see here that my salary of the staff is this number 23 is a big number i can't pronounce it but it is 23 what i'll do now and i have taken a full backup okay so what i'll do now is like i'll update the salary to half and i'll show you what is the salary posted so now from this the salary has been divided 0.5 and now I have this much salary 118 and if you into this it should approximately got get this so I have done that now what I'll do is I will take the timestamp and keep a note of that that's a time three so what happened what we have done is like we had the full salary we took the full backup before doing these changes so in the full backup we had this salary and now we have not taken any backup but right now we have done the salary divided by two now what we'll do is like we will take a incremental backup and we'll keep a note of what time it is so i'll take a incremental backup 
okay so we have taken an incremental backup and that image of that particular backup is this and full backup image was where was our full backup yeah so full backup was this 921 and incremental was 51 so and in the incremental backup we have salary as half now what i'll do is like i'll drop this particular database yeah so i don't have if i show you i don't have sample i have only this new db i can drop that database also which will not get dropped because it has not been deactivated so right now if i show you my system database directory is empty which means i don't have any database and if i go to the backup I will have two backups so this is the old backup so I have got this full backup and then this is my incremental backup which is pretty small in size so this is my incremental backup what I'll do is first I will restore this particular backup then this backup then again this backup and then finally the roll forward so let me repeat incremental backup full backup incremental backup and roll forward so to do that i will use these commands here and i will activate the database connect it and see the salary and again since i have used the incremental backup to restore my salary should not be the full salary it should be the half the one one not the 23 not this number it should be this number because this particular information is there in the incremental backup so let's do that okay and you as you can see my restore got successful my roll forward got successful and when i brought the database connected to it i have this particular salary and not the original salary which means whatever is there in the incremental backup that came in and not what was there in the full backup so this is how you do the restore of an incremental backup so when you do the incremental backup restore remember that you will be doing the last incremental backup first then you will be taking the full backup restore then you will be again applying all the incremental and finally the roll forward now the last example no not last the the next example is how do you do the point in time restore so what i'm doing here is again if i show you the example the point in time restore you just have to use this two times time but my example will be pretty big because i just want to create a scenario so i have got three times times so time zero when there are records present in staff and employee then i will be deleting the records from staff at time one and at time two i will be deleting the records from employee and i will realize that this is the mistake this is the mistake i never i did not wanted to record delete the records from the employee uh, employee i'm okay to delete the records from staff but i'm not okay to delete the records from employee which means i need to go after point time one but before time two so i need to go to this particular time two okay so so i need to sorry i the time two is big just before deleting the records from employee okay and delete the records is time three actually so i need to go to time two which means i need to see the records deleted from the staff but i need to see the records not deleted from employee i need i need these records back okay so what what we'll do is like i'll show i'll take the full backup okay and before that i'll reset my database to what was before so i'll show here i'll just take the full backup uh, and i will be using that particular backup i'll be taking the full backup and i'll be using that particular backup to do the restore uh, and when i do the roll forward i'll be using the time to okay so the time just before deleting the records from employee but after deleting the records from staff bit confusing but remember that i have what i'm trying to do is like i have two tables called staff and employee 
I deleted the records from staff. Correct. This is correct. Okay. So no problem here. This is correct. And then just after time two, just after time two, I deleted the records from employee. And I really realized that this is the mistake. So I need to go back to time two. So I this is okay, but I need to go to time two. So what I'm going to do is like I'll restore the full database backup again first. So I'll be restoring the full backup here and roll forward when I do, I'll be roll, rolling forward to time two, the just the time before deleting this. And it is pretty simple. So only two commands, restore and roll forward. And when you roll forward, this timestamp is important. Whatever timestamp you want to go to that you have to mention that particular timestamp. So let's start with the example. Okay, so, so what I'm doing here is let, let me clear this and take a full backup so okay and let me show you that i have one backup in the backup image so i have this particular backup and this is a full backup so and i'll be only using this backup i don't need incremental or any other backup i'll be using only one backup and this particular backup contains the entire records. It contains entire records in the staff and entire records, which I will show you. So let me take the note of time zero and I'm sorry. Okay, so that's 2020. Sorry, went too fast. Okay, so where was I? Yeah, so 547. Then I activated the database, connected to the sample, and I have got 35 records in staff table. So let's note of that. So at this moment, I have got staff record 35 records. Now I'll be deleting the records from staff for the department ID of 10. So I'll delete them at this particular time. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so I've deleted some records from staff that looks good. So now let's see how many records are there. So in the staff, I got 31 and in the employee, I got 42. So now let's note, out, note down here in the staff, I got 31 because I've deleted some records and in the employee, I got 42 records. Now what I'm going to do in the next step is I'm going to record some I'm going to delete some record from the employee table and then I'm going to show you how much records I deleted. So let's do that. And before doing that, we'll take a note of when we are deleting it. So just before. So this is the timestamp that I'm going back to because this delete is wrong delete. So I need to roll back this delete. OK, so that's my point. So let me take this entire. Okay, so here I deleted some records from employee. So select count from employee 39. Previously it was 42, 39. So from staff, I came down from 35 to 31. And from employee, I came down to 42 to 39. Now I realize that I should have not deleted this. So this delete is wrong. So I need to roll back this delete. So I need to go back to 42. But I need to make sure my delete of staff is OK. So I I should not roll back this this delete this this 35 to 31. This is OK. So finally, I need to see in my when I do the rollback, I need to see that staff still contains 31, not the 35. So I need to roll back this particular transaction, the employee transaction, but not this transaction. So the final result should be when I do the this one staff should be at 31 and employee should go back to 42. Currently employee is at 39. So if I do here, it is 39 from 39. So it needs to go to from 39. So and staff should not stay not 35. It should not go back to 35. Originally it was 35. So it should not go here. 
okay so staff should go to 31 employee should go to 42 currently employee is at 39 because i have deleted some record so what what we need to do is command is pretty simple i will be deactivating the database restoring it from the full backup and then doing the roll forward to time 2 the time which we have noted just before the delete so let's do that and then once that is done i'll activate the database connect it connect to the database and show you that my staff contains 31 not the 35 records not the original records and employee contains the 42 records not the deleted records so th this particular transaction got rolled back this transaction stayed this transaction did not get rolled back so let's do that restoring rolling forward to time 2 activating and you see the staff record as I said the staff record has 31 and employee 42 if, if you see I deleted the records from employee here select count start from employee 39 and now my records in the employee came back so whatever I deleted from 42 to 39 that came back but here 35 to 31 that did not so this did, did not come back so it is still at 31 which means my staff delete was correct but my employee delete which was incorrect has got rolled back so this was the example on how to do the point in time restore pretty actually the commands are pretty simple there are only two commands just to create the scenario it took me some time or explain me but the commands are simple roll forward db sample two timestamps so you do the full backup full restore and then you roll forward to the timestamp and you note you that timestamp is approximate timestamp of things went wrong. You, you must have deleted some thousand records or somebody dropped a table. You, that is the timestamp of that particular transaction. So you go back to that particular transaction. Now, finally, the table space level restore. In this case, what we are doing is like we will not be restoring the entire database, but we'll be restoring only a particular table space. So, and this particular option operation will do when the database is completely online. So the commands are restore, you specify which table space you want to restore and when rolling forward, you specify which table space you want to roll forward and then you are using the keyword online which means the database is completely up and running, you are restoring only. So in this case, if you have multiple table spaces, you are not impacting them, you are only impacting this particular table space. So let's start with this. So let me reset the session, the database again. And while I'm doing that, I'll show you how I've set up my, so I'm going to take a full backup. In this case, I'm going to take a full backup. Only one backup is required. Then what I'll do is like, I will be taking the count of records from staff before deleting. So how many records? And what I'll do is like for a particular department, for department 10, I will be recording some data. Then I will be deleting some data from the department 20. And I realize that I should not have deleted the records from department 20. This is okay. This department is okay. But this delete is not okay. Which means I need to go back to this delete. So I need to go back to this particular timestamp. So and that is why when I do the roll forward. Uh, don't do the roll forward. Okay. So what did I do? Uh, yeah, so when I do the roll forward, I will specify the time 3, which means just before deleting the second time. So let us let me repeat. So I have got two delete statements. One is the after de deleting the departmental records from 10 and after deleting the records from department 20. This delete is okay. This delete is not okay. And I will be restoring only a particular table space, not the entire database. So only one table space and I will be restoring it to a particular timestamp just before the second delete. So let's start with that. So let me clear some files and let me take a full backup. Okay. So I'm taking the full backup. And then we'll go to this particular location and see how many. Okay, so we have one backup. So we have taken the full backup. Now we will be doing the delete and two times delete. 
and then we will be using this particular backup to do the restore and we'll be using the logs to do the roll forward we will be undoing the one delete not the both the delete so let's okay so here so i took did i yeah okay okay Where? Right. So, I the reason why I went back to because I wanted to take this timestamp. So this is my full backup timestamp. I could have figured it out from here, but I just wanted to store that into this particular variable. Now what I'll do is like I will activate the database, connect to it, and I will show you. how many records are there in my staff table okay so i got 35 records and what i'll do is first time i will delete the records from 10 uh, department 10 which means i will be deleting these four records and then i will be deleting another records from department 20 another four records so from 35 i will come down to 31 and from 31 i'll come back down to 37 so let me show tell you so when i do this i i'll be coming from 35 minus 4 equals to 31 and when i do this i will be coming from 31 minus 4 to 27 and what i'll do is i will not undo this so th this delete is okay this delete is not okay so i will be doing the roll back to a point in time where i'm using the table space level restore that post 31 but before 27 so let's do that so let me delete the records and show you the count so right now i can see that we have got the staff records from 10 and we have got 35 records so now from 35 i came down to 31 as i said from 35 i came down to 31 and i should not see the records from this department 10 so let's do that and i don't have the high, the it starts from 15 which means this records got deleted and i from 35 i have now 31 now what i'll do is like i'll be do, doing the delete one more time and this time from department 20 so i'll i'll be coming from 31 to, to 27 so let's do that and so i deleted so now from 31 i came to 27 if you see i had 31 i came to 27 and the records from department 20 are no longer there but i realize it's my mistake i i intended to delete the records from department 10 but not from 20 i want these records back but i can't store my entire database so what i can do because it's a very pretty big i have multiple table spaces multiple applications i can't restore so i can only restore this particular table space and i can do it completely online so let me show you my database is up and running and let me act actually let me terminate my connection and activate the database if it is not activated it's already been activated so let me clear the screen and now what i'll do is i will connect reset okay i don't have any connection and do show you that it is active and then i'll do the restore and roll forward and when doing the restore i'll use the keyword table space and online it's pretty simple only two commands the restore and roll forward and you specify which table space you want to restore and if if you want to do it online you will specify this online keyword so let's go back and take these two commands restore completed roll forward completed so now we will activate the database and check whether the staff 20 that we deleted the 27 that we had 27 and no records of staff 
so we needed this so we needed 31 and 4 did we did we got that back so let's do that and yes we can see that from 27 we went back to 31 and we got this department 20 records back so from 27 we went back to 31 and this whatever 20 which was missing here that came back so this was the example of how to do the restore at the table space level so let me go back to the document again i have explained couple of scenarios but not entirely you have multiple you can you can have many combinations of backup and restore but this was this was for the beginners like they just want to know what kind of options are there so to do the full backup and restore you take the backup full backup and you restore the database if you want to do the another database you just specify into new db if you want to take the incremental backup when taking the incremental backup you will be using this keyword incremental but for that you need to make sure that track mode is on and once this parameter is turned on you need to make sure that you have at least one full backup otherwise you can't take the incremental backup and when you do the restore remember you start with the last incremental then you go to the full and then you follow with the all the incremental and then finally the roll forward so you start with the incremental backup the last incremental backup then you take the full backup then you apply all the incremental and then roll forward when you want to do the point in time restore the you take the full backup and then you apply the you say roll forward to timestamp again in between you can have incremental backup i could have explained that scenario but it's it's pretty like you know it's pretty sim similar to what we have done here and then when we want to do the table space level restore you can specify only one table space and the database is fully active you don't have to deactivate uh, the other table spaces the database everything will remain up and running and you can restore a particular table space and we have restored a particular table space to point in time so we have used two times time using local time so we have done that i hope this tutorial was useful Thank you for watching. See you in next video. Bye-bye.